Hi, my name is Thomas, and this is my mashup for Tad Hack Chicago 2015. So uh, this mashup is my attempt to show uh, yet another way in which bots can interact with average everyday things that would give you great advantage, um, surprisingly. So uh, this particular mashup, I used two services and two sponsors here at the, ha at the hackathon. The first uh, service I used was Tropo, um, and very happily so. I've been a Tropo developer for as long as I've had Tropo. Um, and, uh, and so Tropo is a communications platform that I use to create a small conference calling application um, and integrate it with um, a bot. And I'll show you why in a second. And the other service I used was called Clarify. And Clarify allows you to take existing audio and video files and then search them and use the data contained in them uh, to, uh, to, to search for other information, to, uh, to, to do note taking, um, to, to really be a real piece of data in your infrastructure. So um, here's the point behind this mashup. Uh, I've been working for quite a while on integrating things and people uh, using messaging. And, uh, and a very weird thing about doing this for a living is that when I give people a solution in their domain, they get it right away. But if I don't, they have a hard time seeing it, and that extends even to um, communications engineers, which is why I did this particular mashup. So um, in this case, I want you to imagine um, that you are a lens manufacturer. And if you're a lens manufacturer, one of the things that you really have a hard time with is knowing who purchased your lens, because almost all camera lenses are sold indirectly. They're manufactured in one place and they're shipped off and they're sold through wholesalers and distributors down to a retail channel. Eventually you have no idea who purchased your lens. Well this is a really easy thing to solve with a bot. So what I did was I put, so what you can do very simply is put a phone number on your lens so that when your end user finally gets it, they can reach out back to the manufacturer to ask for questions, to buy more of it, to get warranty, all the, all the things that you would expect from a relationship. Um, bots are great for that. And one of the funny things about doing bots is that the hardest um, vertical to penetrate sometimes is telecom because we see phone numbers and we think we know what they are. But in fact, a phone number is a thing just like a lens. So to prove that, what I did was I made a conference calling application and then I controlled it with a bot. So here's how I did it. The first thing I did was I, I took our existing service called KIST and I ported it to be on top of Tropo. So um, Tropo is handling all the messaging and it was a really easy experience. And Adam, thank you for that help. It really helped me a lot. Helped me a lot. Um, and then what I did was I created a Rails 4 application to handle the web API calls out of Tropo. So that when the calls come in to, to Tropo, they come into my application, I handle the call, I create the conference, um, and it's, it's a very simple thing. Then what I did was, um, I created a very simple bot that you, you access by simply texting your, your phone number of your conference. One of the things which is amazing about things and applications is the user interfaces are hard, not because they're hard, but because you don't know where they are. I love Uber Conference, but when you get a phone call in from Uber Conference, you don't know it was them. It could have been freeconferencecall.com, it could have been anything. So what's great about bots is you don't need to know where it came from, just text it. So what I did on the texting side was I allowed people to, when they're on a conference call, to text into the conference call to say, hey, when the conference call is over, send me a copy of that transcript. Send me a copy of, of uh, the file itself. Uh, and, and then email it to me so I can email it to other places. A simple thing to do. All I had to do was text in and ask for it. And then what I did was I took uh, the results of the conference call and I put it through Clarify. To, to, to be able to um, search it, to be able to do keynotes. In fact, they have a little bit of a nod here to the hypervoice people. Um, what I didn't do, because I didn't have time to do it, was I could have put bookmarks and notes through the call. I could have texted it and say, I want to remember that. Oh, that's a, key, that's a keyword I want to remember. And as I interact with, with the call, I create my own notes that I'll never lose. So basically, uh, and at the end of the call, you know, we send out an email that says, the call's over, here's the transcript, click this for more information. So that's my, uh, my mashup. Hope you like it. Thanks.